there. Let's take a look at that first alert or alert forecast now. Yep. Brian, it is cold. That cold weather <laughs> yeah. has finally came um, and it looks like it's sticking around. Yeah, unfortunately, that unseasonably cool weather just will continue for the next few days. So definitely make sure that you are prepared for that. You know, grab that winter gear, including those hats, gloves, and also coats too, because it's going to be quite chilly out there. Highs actually today only reaching into the upper 20s. Wind chill values will be in the teens for a good chunk of the day. Current wind chills actually feeling like 6 in Decatur, 17 in Columbia City, even 10 into Portland. So. Make sure you are prepared for a very chilly start to the day and you are bundled up. Here's a look at those temperatures compared to those wind chill values. As we'll see, actually, those feel like temperatures into the teens for a good chunk of the day and actual temperatures will be into the upper 20s. So definitely a very cold start to the month of December. And as we walk you through future casts, notice partly cloudy skies to begin our Sunday. And even as we work throughout the day, we'll see some sunshine further south and westward, but uh, some pockets of some clouds further into our uh, northern portions of 21 country. Maybe could see a few flurries towards places like uh, Steuben and also LaGrange County as well. So be prepared for that and even uh, as we go into Monday. Still hanging on to partly cloudy conditions, some more clouds working in throughout the day, and we'll see some more flurries potentially into uh, Monday afternoon as well as into the evening hours. Here's a look at that forecast for the day. 28 for that high, partly sunny skies, and some cold weather is on tap, as we'll see winds out of the west between around 10 to 20. But as we go into Monday and Tuesday, still looking on the drier side, a chance for a rain-snow mix on Wednesday. And actually, as we go into Saturday, we are tracking another chance for a few of those snow showers. So we do want to give you the first alert about that potential on Saturday, but still things are uh, a little up in the air about that chance. Here's a look at future cast as we go throughout Monday, still hanging on to mostly cloudy skies. And even as we work into Wednesday, a good deal today will remain dry, but chances for some rain showers, maybe even mix with some uh, snow into uh, early Thursday morning. So we could potentially be dealing with a few lingering snow showers, still very minor accumulations are anticipated as we are going to see some more lake effect snow into our uh, four far northwestern counties into Thursday afternoon until uh, things look to generally uh, dry out for the most part on Friday. Winds also will play a factor into the midweek. Notice out of the south and southwest around 40 miles per hour on Wednesday and still remaining gusty throughout the day on Wednesday and then even working into Thursday. Wind switching to a northwesterly direction and uh, still will be a bit on the higher side. Here's a look at that first alert extended forecast 32 degrees on Monday. Partly sunny a chance for a few flurries into the mid 30s on Tuesday. Some windy conditions for Wednesday and Thursday. A chance for some rain and snow late into the day on Wednesday. And once again, a few uh, lake effect flurries for Thursday and then uh, Friday and Saturday. Uh, featuring temperatures into the 30s once again. A chance for some snow showers for next Saturday. Still, there's a little disagreement on the exact timing of those snow showers. Um, but still, you know, as we go throughout the week, the big themes are going to be those very cold temperatures, windy conditions by midweek, and maybe the chance for a rain-snow mix later into the week, later into Wednesday. All right. Thanks so much, Brian.